All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bahashim Rakah Kodash, the honors to the apostles and others, Grand Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahashim is in the name of Rakah Kodash, is the Holy Spirit. And also, uh, Shalom to 144,000 men, was liberated in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And shalom on to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all true fans of the city. Shalom. All right, you know, I'm going to get into this lesson here of reincarnation. And um, it's, uh, it says a, a, a new embody, embodiment. All right. And um, I want to jump down here. It says reincarnation because uh, a lot of people think, oh, that's a, that's a uh, Hindu doctrine. All right, it says the Hindu or Buddhist doctrine. That a person may be reborn successfully into one of five classes of living beings, God or human or animal or hungry ghost or desert of hell, depending on the person's own actions. All right. See, and that's not the case, you know, with with uh, reincarnation, you know, uh, via, via the scriptures. All right. Via the Holy Spirit. man. All right. Because, you know, we don't it's 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 different types of flesh, man. All right, you know, a person can't be, you know, a uh, person doesn't come back, you know, as an animal, you know, they only come back, you know, you, you you come back through the same, through uh, you come back through the same lineage. All right, you know, uh, a Hebrew Israelite comes back as a Hebrew Israelite. All right, maybe a different tribe. All right, but always comes back as a, as as an Israelite. All right, uh, uh, a Edomite, a so called white person, always comes back as an Edomite. All right, you know. So that's the difference between, you know, what these uh, Buddhists uh, uh, believe and what the scriptures actually say. All right. You know, reincarnation or regeneration. All right. It says here for regeneration. It says uh, a being born again. All right. Yep. That's pretty much the point. All right, let me get into some scriptures here. Uh, let me get Matthew 19 and verse 28 here. It says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, uh, Let me start at, Let me start at verse 26. But well, Yahweh Shai beheld them and said unto them, And said unto them, With men this is, With men this is impossible, But with the Most High all things are possible. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all, And followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, which means truly, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. All right, you know, re, re, reincarnation, regeneration. All right. It's the same thing, man. All right. Um, let me actually get. Let me get the word here. Regeneration. Strong's G thirty-eight twenty-four. Polygenesia. 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 All right, it says new birth, reproduction, renewal, recreation. All right. You know. You know, let me get some more scriptures here. All right, because there's nothing new under the sun, man. All right, we are, we truly are old souls, you know. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. It says... The thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. There is no new thing under the sun. You see that, man? There is no new thing under the sun. All right. Verse 10, it says, Is there anything where, whereof it may, it, it may be said, see, this is new. It have been already been, uh, been of old time, which was before us. All right. You know, it's nothing new under the sun, man. These are the same spirits, man. You know, scriptures talk about that perpetual hatred that Esau has towards Jacob. 
All right, you know, you know why? Because these it's the same spirits, man. All right, you know, back here today, you know, and always you, you always get that, you know, once in a while you'll uh, you'll meet somebody and say, man, I feel like I met you before, you know, because because our spirits, man, our spirits, spirits never die, man. All right, we we get into a new body, all right, but it's still the same spirit from the beginning, man. All right, you know. Let me actually get this scripture here. Second Ezra four, verse forty. It says, "So he answered me and said, Go thy way to a woman with child, and ask of her when she." Have fulfilled her nine months, if her womb may keep the birth any longer within her. Then said I, No, Lord, that she cannot. And he said unto me, In the grave the chambers of souls are like the womb are like the womb of a woman. Alright, the womb that womb of a woman, she can't keep back, you know, that baby after after that after the nine months, man. It says have been fulfilled her nine months. Alright, the womb can't can't keep that baby, man. You know, it's just time to come out. You know, same thing with these spirits, man. All right, you know, the spirits go. I have to. The spirits gonna go are gonna come back and, and receive that judgment, man. All right. Uh, Second Ezra's fourteen and thirty-five it says. Uh, let me start at verse thirty-four. Second Ezra's fourteen and thirty-four it says. Therefore, if if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive, and after death ye shall obtain mercy. All right, we got to subdue our own understandings, man. All right, and reform your hearts. All right, and it says, ye shall be kept alive, and after death ye shall receive mercy. All right, for serving, you know, Yahweh Bashim al Lord willing, we have that number to receive that mercy. But verse 35 this is really the point. It says, for after death shall the judgment come, when we shall live again, and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. All right, you know, for after death shall the judgment come. All right, you know, when we shall live again. <laughs> you know, you can't get around that, man. All right, you know, we're, we're, we are living out, people living out their judgment, man. All right, that's why you when you see... You know, babies born. You know, they have, they have Down syndrome, or uh, or uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, handicap. You know, right off the bat. You know, that's judgment, man. You know, because they're receiving uh, their judgment from their past lives. All right. You know, it's really it's really easy, man. All right. Uh, this is Hebrews chapter nine, verse twenty-seven. It says. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment, so Hamashiach was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. You know, even Yahweh uh making his second coming, that's a that's that's reincarnation, man. He's coming back. Alright. You know. Revelations one and seven it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also was pierced him, and all, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. All right, they also was pierced him. All right, you know, and that was over two two thousand years ago, man. So how are those people uh, going to see Yahweh Shai come, man? All right, because reincarnation. All right, it's it's recorded within the scriptures, man. All right, but you got to have that eye salve of the sea. All right, you gotta subdue your own understandings, the ways of this world. All right, you gotta, you gotta let all of that go, man. All right, because the scriptures are true. All right. Um, uh, let me get another one here. Um, uh, uh, let me yeah, let me go back to Ecclesiastes one and four it says one generation passeth passeth away, and another generation cometh. But the earth abideth forever. See generations they come and go. All right, so reincarnation 
it's clearly recorded uh, within the scriptures. You know, and going back to our Lord Yahweh Shai, all right, he's gonna uh, he's he's gonna return. And uh, let me actually go back to Revelations one and seven. It says, Behold, Revelations 1 and 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. All right, so that's how you know that these, these uh, the Romans, you know, those those Romans that pierced him, all right, they are back here today in a reincarnation. You know, and going back to Ecclesiastes, there's nothing new under the sun. You know, history repeats itself, all right, you know, because the Lord, he, he destroyed the earth once, all right, you know, by fire. I mean, by uh, Salaki, by, by water. All right, he's going to destroy it again uh, by fire, you know. And why? Because these same wicked spirits are back here today, you know, committing abomination on earth, man. You know, that proves reincarnation as well. All right, those same spirits, you know, just like in the days of Noah, uh, just like in the uh, days of the, uh, of the Son of Man. Why? Because those same spirits are back here today. You know, being wicked. All right. You know, you know, so uh, with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemiel Shah, about Shemuel Kakadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Grand Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David. And to the next lesson, I say Shalom and above the ball. Shalom.